Do you have any clothes on? Yes. Really? No. Uh. <laughs> but we we didn't have sex, uh, did we? <laughs> I mean, I don't remember much about last night. It was <laughs> such a blur. <laughs> oh. oh, I remember laughing. Uh? I laughed a lot. Then we didn't have sex. Mm. <laughs> Oh. oh, I mean, we were really drunk. <coughs> I'm just glad we didn't do anything stupid. Tell me about it. Are you going to separate those? Oh, God. Oh, am I being like a total laundry spaz? I mean, am I supposed to use like one machine for shirts and another machine for pants? <laughs> have you, have you never done this before? Well, not myself. But I know other people that have. <laughs> okay, you caught me. I'm a laundry virgin. <laughs> uh, well, don't worry. I'll use the gentle cycle. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, basically, you want to use one machine for all your whites. Okay? A whole other machine for, for your colors. And a and, uh, third for uh, your... Uh, uh, delicates, and that would be your bras and your under panty things. Okay. Well, what about these are white cotton panties? Would they go with white or with delicates? Uh, that that. My first paycheck. Oh, Look at the window. There's my name. Hi, me. <laughs> I remember the day I got my first paycheck. There was a cave-in in one of the mines, and eight people were killed. Wow, you worked in a mine? I worked in a Dairy Queen mine. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't mean to bring you down. No, you were right. I don't have a plan. Pizza guy. Oh, thank God. Phoebe? What? Do you have a plan? <laughs> I don't even have a plan. Oh my God, what does that thing do? Mm. Uh, that's an eye removal machine. All right, I'm out. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh-oh. Hi, Rachel. Hey. I'm Dr. Miller. Mm -hmm. Monica told me you were a little nervous, but don't worry, everything's gonna be just fine. So we're done. <laughs> Almost, but first we gotta start. Okay. This is the glaucoma test. Uh-huh. Sit down. Okay. Put your chin here. Mm-hmm. Now, you're gonna feel a small puff of air in each eye. Uh, what? what? A small puff of air. Now, come on! Here we go. All right. One, two, three. Okay. I'm sorry? Three. Okay. I'm sorry? All right. Just, I'm gonna stay in here this time. Okay. Ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm gonna hold your head. Okay. That's okay. 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 One, uh -huh. two... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? You're young. You probably don't have glaucoma. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it was very, very nice to meet you, Maybe sir. You and I'm... Ow! Hey! What? what are you... Are you crazy? Okay. You got a small, minor infection in that left eye. I want you to take these drops three times a day for a week, and you'll be as good as new. Yeah, no, I, I don't... I don't put things in my eye. Okay, then. I guess we'll see you back here in three months. Great. And I'll fit you for a glass eye. Okay, just give me the damn drops. <laughs> Dr. Miller? P-E-C-F-D. Very good, Monica. <laughs> you know where they are. I sure do. <laughs> and you don't get one. I'm gonna get a shot. Well, I mean, maybe they can... 
can take the needle and squirt it into my mouth. You know, like, like a squirt gun. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. I'm Dr. Carlin. Oh, I see someone's having a little allergic reaction. Yes. Doctor, can I see you for just a moment, please? My brother um, has a slight phobia about needles. Did you tell him about my, my squirt gun idea? <laughs> My brother, the Ph.D., would like to know if there's any way to treat this orally. No. Under these circumstances, it has to be an injection, and it has to be now. Cole? Oh. He's going to have seeds. Um, doctor says it's got to be a needle, so you're just going to have to be brave, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay. Okay. Oh, boy, you are doing so good. Yes. Okay, you want to squeeze my hand? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ross, don't squeeze it so hard. Honey, really, don't squeeze it so hard. <laughs> hey, who's this little naked guy? Uh, that little naked guy would be me. <laughs> oh, oh, look at the little thing. <laughs> yes. That's fine. That is my penis. <laughs> Can we be grown-ups now? Can we be grown-ups now? Who are those people? Got me. Oh, that's Nana right there in the middle. <gasps> you have see. Me and the gang at Java Joe's. Wow, Monica, you look just like your grandmother. How old was she there? 1939. Yeah, uh, 24, 25. Yeah. Huh. It's like a fun gang. Ooh, look, 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 look. I have Monica naked. I don't know, that would be me again. <laughs> I'm uh, just trying something. <laughs> What are you doing? Just trying to get comfortable. I can't sleep in my underwear. Well, you're gonna. <laughs> I've been thinking, you know, about how I'm always seeing girls on top of girls. Are they end to end or tall like pancakes? <laughs> you know what I mean about how I'm always going out with all these women. Because I always figured when the right one comes along, I'll be able to be a stand-up guy and go the distance, you know? I'm looking at my dad, thinking, hey, you're not him. You're you. When they were all over you to go into your father's pipe-fitting business, did you cave? No. No. You decided to go into the out-of-work actor business. <laughs> now, that wasn't easy, but you did it. And I'd like to believe that when the right woman comes along, you will have the courage and the guts to say, no thanks, I'm married. <laughs> See my nipples through this shirt. Fuck <laughs> starts a conversation like that. No. But don't worry, I'm sure they're still there. <laughs> so where are you going, Mr. Sooty Man? Well, I have an appointment to see Dr. Robert Pillman, career counselor, a go go. <laughs> I added the a go go. Career counselor? Hey, you guys all know what you want to do. I don't. Hey, you guys in the living room all know what you want to do. <laughs> You know, you have goals, you have dreams. I don't have a dream. Uh, the lesser known, I don't have a dream speech. <laughs> oh, I love my life, I love my life. A Brian song. <laughs> the meeting with that guy went great. It was so great. He showed me where the restaurant's gonna be. It's, it's, it's this cute little place on 10th Street. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's just right. Was it formerly owned by a blonde woman? It's fair. If anything else opens up, please. Hello? Hello? Uh, 
Jacks are better. Nothing wild, everybody anti. Look, Rage, we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. All right, check. Check. I'm in for 50 cents. Call. I'm in. I see your 50 cents, and I raise you five dollars. I thought uh, it was a 50 cent limit. Well, I just lost a job, and I'd like to raise the bed five bucks. Does anybody have a problem with that? <laughs> hey. Hey. So, uh, Estelle, line up a bunch of auditions for me tomorrow, and I'll have my health insurance back in no time. That's great, but shouldn't you be on the toilet right now? <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, I, I, I got this blinding pain in my stomach when I was lifting weights before, and then I, uh, passed out, and, uh, haven't been able to stand up since. <laughs> But uh, I don't think it's anything serious. <laughs> this sounds like a hernia. You have to, you, you go to the doctor. No way. Okay, look, if I'm gonna go to the doctor for anything, it's gonna be for this thing sticking out of my stomach. <laughs> That's a hernia. But I have to start working out again. Damn you 15s. I'm sorry, Thieves. Like, I guess I'm just really sad that I'm leaving. I'm gonna miss you so much. Mm. Well, this doesn't have to be so sad, though, you know? Maybe instead of just thinking about how much you're gonna miss each other, you should, like, think about some of the things that you're not gonna miss. I don't think there's anything. No. Come on, there's gotta be something. Oh, she's perfect. Oh. Oh. I have one. <laughs> Great, okay, you can go first. Uh, well, I guess I'm not gonna miss the fact that you're never allowed to move the phone pin. <laughs> oh that's a good one. <laughs> okay, Monica, anything? You know, does Rachel move the phone pin? <laughs> Odd sometimes. <laughs> Always, actually. <laughs> okay, good. There you go. Doesn't everyone feel better? <laughs> it's not just the phone pin. <laughs> I never get my messages. <laughs> You get your messages. Yeah, well, I don't think it really counts if you have to read them off the back of your hand after you fall asleep on the couch. <laughs> so, so you missed a message from who? Chandler? Or your mom? Or Chandler? Or your mom? <laughs> Great, it worked! No one's sad. <laughs> mom, uh, Chandler was just saying how beautiful your sweater is. Oh, thank you, Chandler. I just bought it. Oh. Yes, well, it's very beautiful, and it's cream-colored and tight, and... <laughs> I don't mean tight, I mean it's not too tight, not that I was looking at... What's the matter with him? I think he's stoned again. <laughs> what? What? Dude, I need to talk to you a sec. <laughs> Okay, I think I might know why my parents don't like you. You do? Why? Okay, remember, we were young. <laughs> hey. Spring break, sophomore year, I, I got high in my bedroom, and my parents walked in and smelled it, and so I told them that you had gotten stoned and jumped out the window. <laughs> what? Why did you do that? I don't know. Uh, it was the first name that, that popped into my head. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't think it'd matter. How could it not matter? Well, how was I supposed to know we'd end up being friends after college, let alone you, you'd be living with my sister? What about all that friends forever stuff? I don't know. I, I was all high. <laughs> Mom and Dad just sent me in here to find out if you were trying to get Ross stoned. <laughs> Your parents caught Ross smoking pot in college, and he blamed it on me. Ross, I can't believe you'd do that. The reason we haven't told them we're together is because they hate me. Okay, so will you fix this? Okay, okay. I'll tell them it wasn't Chandler who got high. Okay. No, so who should I say it was? You! It's not like it's a big deal. You, you don't still do it or anything. All right, all right. Now, now who should I say tricked me into doing it? <laughs> Oh, yeah, about telling mom and dad. I was thinking about maybe writing a letter. All right, you know what? That's it. You've had your chance. Well, what? 
Mom, Dad, Ross smoked pot in college. What? what? You are such a tattletale! <laughs> Mom, Dad, <laughs> you remember that, that time you walked in my room and smelled marijuana? Yes. yes. <laughs> well, I told you it was Chandler who was smoking the pot, but... It was me. I'm sorry. It was you? And, Dad, you know that mailman that you got fired? He didn't steal your Playboys. Ross did. <laughs> yeah, well, Hurricane Gloria didn't break the porch swing. Monica did. <laughs> Ross hasn't worked at the museum for a year. <laughs> Monica and Chandler are living together. <laughs> That's a lot of information to get in 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, Monica, why you felt you had to hide the fact that you're in an important relationship is beyond me. And we kind of figured about the porch swing. <laughs> Ross, drugs, divorced again. What happened, son? I, I, uh, I got tricked into all those things. Chandler, you've been Ross's best friend all these years, stuck by him during the drug problems. <laughs> and now you've taken on Monica as well. Well, I don't know what to say. You're a wonderful human being. <laughs> Thank you. No. Thank you. <laughs> Monica and Ross, I don't know what I'm going to do about the two of you. I'll talk to them. Hey, you guys, guess what? Barry and Mindy are getting a divorce. Oh, oh my wow. God. Wow. What is the matter with you? <laughs> no, Barry and Mindy. Oh, sorry. I hear divorce, I immediately go to Ross. <laughs> Who, who's Barry and Mindy? Barry was the guy that I almost married, and Mindy was my best friend. Oh, uh, uh, wasn't he cheating on you with her? Yeah, but that just means that he was falling asleep on top of her instead of me. <laughs> God, can you imagine if I'd actually married him? I mean, how different would my life be? I know what you mean. I've always wondered how different my life would be if, if I'd never gotten divorced. Which time? The first time. <laughs> well, seriously, imagine if Carol hadn't realized she was a lesbian. I can't. I keep seeing it the good way. I bet I'd still be doing my karate. Towards the end of our marriage, I was doing a lot of karate as a way of releasing the tension from, you know, not doing anything else physical. Maybe the problem was you were pronouncing it karate. Yeah. I've got something important to tell you. Guys? 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 I'm gonna ask Monica to marry me. I think we gotta end the freeze out. Wait a minute, is this, is this for real? Yeah, check out the ring. Oh my God! So you two are really serious. Yeah, pretty much. You're gonna get married? I mean, we're, we're gonna be brothers-in-law. Come here. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 and we're gonna be friends again. <laughs> what? Well, the water under the bridge, forget okay. it. <laughs> I was gonna wait till uh, it was official, you know, but I got so excited, I just had to tell you guys because you're my best friend. <sighs> I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> No more crying. Please, I just dumped one cry, baby. I'll dump you two. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Monica to marry me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Chandler. You guys are gonna be so happy. I know. Where's all the tissue? <laughs> Check out the ring. Oh! 
one and a half carat easy. <laughs> hey, hey, Phoebes, yeah. Chandler's gonna ask Monica to marry him. Oh, I know, I helped pick out the ring. <laughs> you told her before you told us? Well, she walked in while I was looking at the ring brochures. You can understand that, right? <laughs> Guys? <laughs> Guys? Hey, what's going on? Uh, I found a note on my door. Come to Monica's quick. Bring champagne and a Three Musketeers bar? Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> what's up? Monica and I are engaged. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Where is she? I'm engaged! I'm engaged! Yeah, she's been out there for 20 minutes. I'm surprised you didn't hear her on the way over. Oh, I thought it was just a kid yelling, I'm gay, I'm gay. <laughs> Can I bring her in? No, no, let her stay out there. It's sweet. I'm getting married! I'm gonna be a bride! No, I will not shut up because I'm engaged! <laughs> oh, big talk! Okay, you get her in here, you bolt the door, I'll be in the closet. You know what we should do? We should all get dressed up and go to have champagne at the plaza. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. But uh, I, I can't stay too long. I gotta get up early for a commercial audition tomorrow and I gotta look good. I'm supposed to be playing a 19-year-old. <laughs> what? So when you said get up early, did you mean 1986? <laughs> you guys don't think I look 19? <laughs> You said 90. Right. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's go, let's okay. go. Okay. <laughs> Sup. <laughs> Sup, dude. Take whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. It's like playing a little PlayStation, huh? That's whack. PlayStation is whack. Sup at the whack PlayStation. Sup. Huh? Come on, am I 19 or what? Yes. On a scale from one to 10, 10 being the dumbest a person can look, you are definitely 19. Come on, man, really, how old? Young, you're a man child, okay? Now go get changed because everybody's ready and please, oh please, keep my underwear. Oh, thanks. Okay. Now, I can pass for 19, right? Yes, you can pass for 19. Really? Yes. Seriously? Seriously? Seriously, no, okay? You can play your own age, which is 31. <gasps> I'm 30. Joey, you are not. You're 31. Oh, crap. Talk about our wedding plans, and well, I guess pretty soon we'll be making a big withdrawal from the Monica Wedding Fund. <laughs> <laughs> You tell her, Jack, I can't do it. What happened? You still have the Monica wedding fund, don't you? We have it. Only now we call it the beach house. <laughs> I can't believe you spent my wedding fund on the beach house. We're sorry, honey, but we just assumed if you got married after you turned 30, you'd pay for it yourself. <laughs> you bought the beach house when I was 23. Which means you had seven years of beach fun, and you can't put a price on that, sweetie. <laughs> I really do feel bad about this, though. We started saving again when you were dating Richard, but then that went to hell, so we redid the kitchen. <laughs> what about when I started dating Chandler? Well, it was Chandler. We didn't think he'd ever propose. Clearly, I did not start drinking enough at the start of the meal. <laughs> I can't believe it, that there is no money for my wedding. We might still have some money if your father hadn't thought it was a good idea to sell ice over the internet. It seemed like such a simple idea. Stupid, Jack. The word is stupid. All right, enough. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Good luck, Chandler. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, now just remember everything I taught you and you'll be fine. Okay, here we go. Ready, set. Wait, this seat is really uncomfortable. Okay, maybe before we start, we should just get another one. Perhaps like an airplane seat or a beanbag chair. Phoebe, you can't get out of this, okay? You have to learn how to ride a bike. Why? Why do I have to learn? Well, in, in case of an emergency. What kind of emergency? Well, let, what if a, a man comes along and puts a gun to your head and says, you ride this bike or I'll, sh <laughs> I'll shoot you. Okay, I would ring the bell to distract him and then I would knock the gun out of his hand with a Chinese throwing star. Okay, Phoebe, <laughs> just, just get, get on the bike and hey, I'll hold you up and, and push you, okay? You won't let go. No. You swear? I swear. Okay. Come on. All right, yeah. here we go. All right, all right. All right. Go good? Well. All right, try pedaling. Okay. That's it, you're doing great. Okay. You're doing great, yes, okay. yes, yes. Take control, yes. Whee! You were doing so well. I, I... shot. Shot. <laughs> it's a legitimate learning technique. She was when she was 29. <laughs> Miss Green would like to establish some ground rules before she comes out. She would appreciate it if you didn't use the words old or downhill or they still look pretty damn good. <laughs> they do. Rachel, come on out. Monica made breakfast. Chocolate chip pancakes. We've got presents. <laughs> Good ones? <laughs> they all came from the list you handed out to us two weeks ago. Well, can I keep the presents and still be 29? Come on, Rage. Look, turning 30 is not that big a deal. Oh, really? Is that how you felt when you turned 30? Why, God, why? I know my life's going pretty well, but I look around and I just see so many people who've accomplished so many of their goals by the time they're 30. Yeah, but you shouldn't compare yourself to me. <laughs> things up with my sister. Oh, well, but yay! yay! And, and girls, this thing is a godsend, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Woo! 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 I needed that car for transportation, okay? I, I have a child. How hot do I look in this, huh? <laughs> Lost a sports car? Wouldn't it have been cheaper to just stuff a sock down there? That's not what this is about, okay? I, I am a sports car enthusiast. I've always been into cars. Hey, what's the horsepower on this thing? I don't know, but, but look how shiny. <laughs> I can't believe you bought this. So can I have a ride, Stan? Oh, hop in. <laughs> Get ready for the smoothest ride of your life. out again. <laughs> Hang on, buddy. Oh my god. What happened here? 
Did you do all this? I sure did. Why? Well, I just thought it would make me feel good to do something nice for my friend. You're amazing. No, no, no. This is amazing. <gasps> A TV that appears as if from nowhere. <laughs> That's the dream. <laughs> Man, how did you afford all this stuff? Well, uh, you know, I'm 29. I mean, who needs a savings account? Oh. <laughs> you are the best friend anyone has ever had. Oh, I don't know. No, 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 you are. You do this, you give me the great advice. And hey, listen, I was thinking about what you said yesterday about focusing on one woman. I'm gonna do that. You mean with Casey? No, no, no. I think I'm gonna see how things go with Kathy. She's pretty cool. Or Casey. No, no, Kathy. It could be Casey. No, no, Kathy. Consider Casey. <laughs> you know what I think? I think somebody's got a little crush on Casey. How about I fix you two up? What do you think? that all the pieces of my life are falling right into place. Huh, little question for you. How do you think this suit would look on an assistant fire? Okay. The owner of Alessandro's came over here to yell at me, but instead I made him some sauce and he offered me the job as head chef. Oh my God, you just ruined the thing I was practicing the whole way home, but I'm so happy. <laughs> Can you believe it? I finally get to run my own kitchen. Oh, you've waited so long. No. Oh, holy. Yay. Hey. Hey, Phoebe, quick question for you. Yeah. How do you think this suit would look on an assistant buyer at Bloomingdale's? I don't know. I totally depend on her coloring. And uh... <laughs> you got the job! Oh! You got the job! Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so great. I'm gonna get to help decide what we sell. I'm gonna have an office with walls and everything. I'm gonna have walls. Oh. <laughs> okay, is this the day of good news or what? I got us a job. <gasps> The wedding reception. <laughs> oh. Um, Phoebe, I, I kind of need to talk to you about that. <clears throat> um, well, I, I, I think it might be time for me to take a step back from the catering. But we've only had one job. Uh, I know. But now we have this second one, and it just it feels like it's snowballing, you know? <laughs> yeah, what are you saying? I got offered the head chef job at Alessandro's. What? It's okay, because you know what? If you think about it, you don't really need me for the business. You're the cook. <laughs> Without you, it's just me driving up to people's houses with empty trays and asking for money. <laughs> all right, but, um, well, I I I'll pay you back all the money you invested, and you can keep the van. For what? I can't believe this. I gotta get out of here. Phoebe, wait a minute. Diamond assistant buyer! All right, so we'll get a little coffee, we'll get energized, and we'll head back out. Yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> so we're having fun, right? Mm. We don't need that wizard guy. <laughs> we'll hit a couple of clubs, talk to some strangers, and uh, after this, we'll go down to the docks and see about that boat thing. <laughs> I'm kind of beat. Actually, me too. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Thank God, I'm oh. exhausted. So you guys want coffees? Yeah, but uh, I don't want to be up too late, so I'll have a decaf. Yeah, me too. Actually, can I get some hot water with a little lemon? I, I strain my voice screaming in there. Does it have to be so loud? <laughs> I can't hear a word you're saying. My ears are ringing so bad. Uh, I'm just glad I brought that extra pair of socks, you know? I used them as mittens. I didn't want to touch a thing in that last place. Uh. How sad are we? Yeah, I know. You know what? We're not sad. We're not sad. We're just not 21 anymore, you know? I'm 29 years old, damn it. And I want to sit in a comfortable chair and watch television and go to sleep at a reasonable hour. Yeah. yeah. yeah and I like to hang out in a quiet place where I could talk to my friends. Yeah. yeah. And so what if I like to go home, throw on some Kenny G, and take a bath? <laughs> We're 29. We're not women. You don't have to stop having fun just because I'm here. Kathy didn't cheat on all of you. Well, except you. <laughs> hey, 
Joey? I don't think that you should leave Chandler alone. I mean, it's only been two days since he broke up with Kathy. Maybe you can go fishing next week. Look, there's nothing I can do for him right now. He's still in his sweatpants. That's only phase one. <laughs> you know, I'll be back for phase two. I would never miss phase two. What's phase two? Getting drunk and going to a strip club. <laughs> Going to a strip club make him better. There are naked ladies there. Oh, and it helps him get to phase three, picturing yourself with other women. There are naked ladies there, too. Yeah. <laughs> Would you give me one minute, please? Hey. Hey. I was just at the bank, and there was this really hot teller, and she didn't ask me to go do it with her in the vault. <laughs> Same kind of thing happened to me. Woman pizza delivery guy comes over, gives me the pizza, takes the money, and leaves. What, no, like, nice apartment? Bet the bedrooms are huge? <laughs> no, nothing. You know what? Hmm. We have to turn off the porn. I think you're right. All right, ready? One, oh. two, three. three. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Yeah, it's kind of a relief. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see if we still have it? Yeah. <laughs> free day! Oh, we have a free day! This is so amazing. I can't believe my brother's getting married and in London. I mean, it's just, it's so romantic. Hey, pretty smart. Tissue paper. You're at the wedding. You have to cry. Handkerchief? No, no, I got my invitation. <laughs> oh, look, isn't this adorable? Ross let Ben address mine. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, did you get your invitation to Ross's wedding? No. <laughs> oh, don't worry, man. I get to bring a guest. We'll show him. I'm so jealous you're all going. I can't believe I never knew that you can't fly in your third trimester. Well, I, I didn't know that either. I knew that. So didn't know that, but you should see your faces. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Hey, hey. hey. Just we're hanging out. <laughs> what's this? Is this Ross's wedding invitation? See, maybe that's the one we should have actually hidden. <laughs> oh no, no, you guys, come on! You don't have to do that. I'm happy for him. I am. I really. I am. I'm. Ha I. I'll work on it. I'm sorry, honey. Mm. You're gonna come, though, aren't you? Oh, honey, I don't know. I don't... This isn't one of those, uh, you know, if she doesn't come, we, we, don't, we don't come, right? Because I already bought my ticket. And... Hi. Hi, hi, yeah, hi. I'm um, Phoebe Buffet, and I have babies coming out of me. Okay. Have you started having attractions? Not yet. Um, I heard they really hurt. Do they hurt? Oh, no. oh my God! Oh. And now, which of you is the father? Um, no, none of them are the father. The father is my brother. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm so gonna miss watching you freak people out like that. Okay, Beach. Look, look. This is for the babies to look at someday. So, is is there anything you want to say? You know, before it all starts. Oh, okay. Um, hi, kids. Um, it's me, Aunt Phoebe. Can't wait to see you. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> hey, it took you guys so long. Your cab left when ours did. <laughs> well, we had to go back because I forgot my jacket. Right. <laughs> You're not wearing a jacket. Oh, man, I did it again. <laughs> Um, we have someone has to call Frank and Alice, and then my mom might. Joey, what are you doing? I gotta get the before shot. Isn't this great? Mm. Couldn't you just stay like this forever? Chandler, <laughs> couldn't you just stay here forever? Yeah, here, somewhere else, you know, where, wherever. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Casual. What, what are you doing? Well, just hanging out, you know, having fun, you know, uh, with the girl that I'm seeing casually. Man, I knew it. I knew you were going to do this. What? 
get all freaked out because everybody was talking and just joking around about marriage and stuff. Well, you, you do want all that stuff, right? Oh, and you know what I want. Yes, you want babies. You have baby fever. <laughs> I do not have baby fever. Oh, please, you are obsessed with babies and, and marriage and everything that's related to babies and, and, and marriage. You know what, I got a good idea. Why don't we turn the heat down on this pressure cooker? You lost your mind? Chandler, this isn't about me. This is about you and all your weird relationship commitment crap. Nah, I know you, okay? I know the thoughts that you have in the head, in your head. I don't know everything. Did you know that I'm going out with Rachel tonight instead of you? Hmm? And did you know that the only baby around here is you? And did you know that I can't even look at you right now? Yeah, well, I did not know that. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, right? I mean, she's not gonna leave me. This is this is fixable. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure yeah. absolutely. By me. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless you make some kind of big gesture. Yeah, big though. Oh shit, the missus. <laughs> Here, can, I, can I get a coffee? To go. I'm, I'm still not done not wanting to talk to you. Just tell me what I need to do to make things right. What? Well, that's what we do, you know? I, I mess up, and then you tell me how to fix it, and then I do, and then, you know, you think I'm all cute again. I'm really, I'm really tired of being your relationship tutor. You're gonna have to figure this one out for yourself, right? You know what? If you're too afraid to be in a real relationship, then don't be in one. I need to talk to her, it's urgent. Is she here? Hi, Monica. I need to talk to you, it's urgent. Okay. Okay, I've been doing a lot of thinking about us, you know, a lot of uh, us thinking. And, uh, well, I guess there's only one, one way to do this. What are you doing? Hey, you feeling better? Yeah, I think that fifth shower actually got the interview off me. So, do you have any other possibilities? Oh, yeah, well, there is the possibility that I won't make rent. Oh, if you want, I can lend you some money. No, 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 because if I couldn't pay you back right away, then I'd feel guilty and tense every time I saw you. Oh, okay. Well, then why don't you, uh, why don't you borrow it from Mom and Dad? You feel guilty and tense around them already. <laughs> you might as well make some money off of them. <laughs> Some of your old stuff. Well, sweetie, we have a surprise for you. We're turning your room into a gym. <laughs> wow, that is a surprise. <laughs> Just one little question. Uh, why not Ross's room? Uh, gosh, we talked about that, but your brother has so many science trophies and plaques and merit badges. <laughs> well, we didn't want to disturb them. Oh, God forbid. <laughs> You know, that Steffi Graf has quite a tush. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's right there. Hey, guys. Hi, darling. Where's my grandson? You uh, didn't bring him? No, he's at uh, Carol's and Susan's today. A woman in my office is a lesbian. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, Jack, look, there's that house paint commercial that cracks you up. <laughs> Been. Emotional hell. So, did they lend you the money yet? No, but that's probably because I haven't asked them yet. Come on, Monica, do it. <laughs> hey, you guys, um, Monica has some news. Um, yeah, so, uh, listen, I'm sorry I didn't tell you this before, but, um, I I'm no longer at my job. I, I had to leave it. Why? Because they made me. <laughs> you were fired? I what are you gonna do? Judy, Judy, relax. This is our little harmonica we're talking about. We taught her well. 10% of your paycheck. Where does it go? In the bank. The bank. There you go. So she dips into her savings. That's what it's there for. She's gonna be fine. And if you need a little extra, you know where to find it. Anything larger back there? <laughs> okay, here you go. You can pay me back whenever you like. 
You have dinosaur checks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you get your money and you learn a little something. What's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing. Hey, you're a cheapasaurus. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Hey, Mon, what is this? Oh, um, that was my bathing suit from high school. I, I was a little bigger then. Oh, I thought that's what they used to cover Connecticut when it rained. Do you want to get this tattoo? Yes, I do. It's just that Ross is... Okay, hey, hey, is your boyfriend the boss of you? No. Okay, who is the boss of you? You? No, you are the boss of you. Now you march your hiney in there and get that heart tattooed on your hip. Go! Oh. oh, it looks so good. Oh, I love it. I know, so do I. Oh, oh Phoebe, I'm so glad you made me do this. Okay, let me see yours. Ah. Okay, let's see yours again. Phoebe, we just saw mine. Let me see yours. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, it's gone. That's so weird. I don't know how where it went. You didn't uh, get it? No. Why didn't you get it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, baby, how could you do this to me? This was all your idea. I know, I know. And I was going to get it, but then he came in with this needle. And uh, did you know they do this with needles? <laughs> Really? You don't say, because mine was left on by kittens! Oh, your boyfriend has been in there for over an hour. I can't believe it, it's like I'm living with him again. He's here when I go to sleep, he's here when I wake up, he's here when I want to use the shower. Oh, I feel like I'm 16 all over again. Well, you're not 16, you're both adults now. Get out, you doofus! <laughs> or, you know, he's rubber and you're glue. <laughs> All yours. I hope you cleaned your hair out of the drain. I hope you cleaned your hair out of the drain. Shut up! Shut up! Cut it out! Me, me, me! I've never wanted you more. I want to watch entertainment tonight. Tough noogies were watching Predators of the Serengeti. You guys stop! It's my TV. What? Uh, quit it! Fight me! Oh my God! Well, Monica keeps changing the channel. Oh, that's great. Why don't you tell mommy on me? <laughs> now I'm mommy in this little play. All right, look, I refuse to get sucked into this like weird little Geller dimension thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go and take a nice long hot bubble bath because you kids are driving me crazy. <laughs> For a sec, because I, I gotta take this off. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sure. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm holding Ben. <laughs> yeah, well, he's a baby, not a bomb. Okay. Well, just hold him like you'd hold a football. This is how I would hold a football. <laughs> okay, here, here. There we go. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just not very good with babies. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been around them. I mean, you know, since I was one. <laughs> it's all right. It's no big deal. Really? Yeah, definitely. I'm sure you'll feel totally different when it's our baby. What? What? You th think about stuff like that? Uh, yeah. I mean, actually, I kind of think that we'll have we'll have two babies. Two, uh, two babies? Yeah, you know, a boy and a girl. Hopefully the girl will come first so Ben here won't feel too competitive. You know? well, uh, 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 then what's gonna happen? Well, we won't want to raise kids in the city, so we'll probably move to uh, Scarsdale. Uh -huh. Yeah, that way, I figure, you know, we'll be far enough away from our parents that we don't have to see them all the time, but close enough that they can come over and babysit whenever we want. And yes, I know the taxes are a little higher than, let's say, Nassau County, but the school system's supposedly great. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> great. Okay, wow, you know what? Huh. I'm off my break now. So, uh, um, here, you take this. And um, I am going to go pour these very nice people some coffee. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, look at that. I don't have a pot. <laughs> I don't have a pot. Well, hey, maybe I've got one at home or in Scarsdale. Hey, is that a door? Play the airplane game. You want to show Rachel? Come here. You want to do something fun? Okay. Wee! Oh. <laughs> Wee! Oh. Wee! Oh. oh, so brave. You're so brave. Yes, you are. You're so brave. Okay. Okay, honey, he's fine. He's fine. Let's just put him down. Come here, babe. Yes, you're such a good boy. How could you do that to him? Ross trusted me. What is he going to say? He's not going to say anything because we're not going to tell him. We're not? No, we're not. All right, I like that. Okay. <laughs> so we're okay. We're okay. We're okay, aren't we? No, we're not okay. We're not okay. There's a bump. There's a bump. There's a bump. There's a bump. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, push it in. Push it in. I cannot push it in. Okay. We're going to need a distraction. Okay. That's it. Okay. I got it. Okay. The second that Ross walks in that door, yeah. I want you to take him back to your bedroom and you do whatever it is that you do that makes him go, Ree! <laughs> or... <laughs> we could put a hat on his head. A hat. Yes! A hat. We need a hat. We need a hat. Where are we going to find a tiny little hat? Oh, 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 get ready, Jay Bear. I guess he'll know what to do. <laughs> oh, my God, you're a genius! Oh, God, it's kind of sewn on, though. Give it, give it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just like a bloodbath in here today. And when you have a second later, I want to show you why we don't just trap spiders under coffee mugs and leave them there. <laughs> I'm training to be better at a job that I hate. My life officially sucks. But, Rach, wasn't it supposed to be a temporary thing? I thought you wanted to do fashion stuff. Well, yeah, I'm still pursuing that. How exactly are you pursuing that? <laughs> you know, other than sending out resumes like, uh, what, two years ago? Oh, well, I'm also sending out good thoughts. <laughs> if you ask me, as long as you got this job, you got nothing pushing you to get another one. You need the fear. The fear? He's right. If you quit this job, you then have motivation to go after a job you really want. Well, then how come you're still at a job that you hate? I mean, why don't you quit and get the fear? <laughs> because I'm too afraid. I don't know. I mean, I would give anything to work for a designer, you know, or a buyer. Ugh, I just don't want to be 30 and still work here. Yeah, that'd be much worse than being 28 and still working here. Rachel? Yeah? Remind me to review with you which pot is decaf and which is regular. Can't I just look at the handles on them? You would think. Okay, fine. Gunther, you know what? I am a terrible waitress. Do you know why I am a terrible waitress? Because I don't care. I don't care. I don't care which pot is regular and which pot is decaf. I don't care where the tray spot is. I just don't care. This is not what I want to do. So I don't think I should do it anymore. I'm going to give you my week's notice. What? Gunther, I quit. Does this mean we're gonna have to start paying for coffee? We are. Oh my God, you still have the chipper. The what? <laughs> That's what we used to call your, uh, your motorcycle in high school. You know what, a motorcycle is a chopper. And your chip. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I think it's cute. Wow. Lipper from the chipper. So, you still in touch with anyone from high school? Um, well, there's Rachel, and um, I think that's it. <laughs> How about you? Oh, yeah, I still hang with Simmons and Zana. You know, and I see Spindler a lot, and Levine, Kelly. And I run into Goldie from time to time. Stick, Browns, Okoff, McGuire, JT, <laughs> Beardsley. Is that all? Ah, uh, you know, after high school, you just kind of lose touch. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I ran into Richard Dorfman. Oh, how is he? Not so good. Me and Simmons gave him a wedgie. <laughs> Isn't he an architect now? Yeah, they still wear underwear. Hey, you guys. Hey. 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 What's going on? Well, we were just talking about you guys getting married and how great it is. Yeah, you can get a Volvo. If that's what you really want. <laughs> oh, that's so hmm. sweet. 
So, we both finished our vows. Yeah. Oh, can we read them? Yeah, just as long as I don't hear Taylor's and he doesn't hear mine. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Funny one. That's a good one. Monica, will you, will you marry me? <laughs> what? I don't get it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, man, this is hilarious. Chandler! Don't worry, honey, we'll make yours funnier. Let me sit. Rachel, I, I want you to know that if it's positive, we're gonna... Oh, I know, I know. You do. Mm -hmm. okay. um, it's time. Oh, boy. Oh, no! no! <laughs> Go ahead, Rich. Oh, wait, you know what? I can't, I can't look at it. I can't look at it. Somebody else tell me. Somebody tell me. Okay. Okay. Um. It's negative. What? It's negative. There you go. Phew. That is, that's great. That is really great, great news. You know, because the whole uh, not being ready and kind of the financial aspects, all that. Wow, this is so just the way that this was supposed to be. Great. Mm -hmm. It's gone. This is so stupid. <laughs> How can I be upset over something I never had? It's negative. No, it's positive. <laughs> what? It's it's not negative. It's positive. <laughs> Well, yeah, I lied before. Oh. Oh, my God. Now you know how you really feel about it. Oh, that's a risky little game. <laughs> Are you really going to do this? Yeah. I'm going to have a baby. I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> something that we really need to talk about. I think we do. Why don't we go inside? <sighs> Look, uh, I know why you're here. You do? Yeah. And to save you from any embarrassment, um, I think maybe I should talk first. OK. OK. <laughs> Uh, Ross and Rachel. Rachel and Ross. Uh, that's been one heck of a seesaw, hasn't it? What? I mean, look, that, that one night we had was fun and, and certainly passionate, but don't, don't you think it's better if we just stay friends? Seriously, what? Okay, okay. You know what? If you want to, we can do it one more time. I mean, I, I'd be okay with that. In fact, I have some time right now. Okay. You know what? <clears throat> can I can I talk now? Oh, sure. Okay. Ah. Oh. I'm pregnant.
Ross. <laughs> Ross. Okay, whenever you're ready. <laughs> and you're the father, by the way, but you got it. Can I get you some water? I'm good. I'm good. Ross, there is no pressure on you, okay? I mean, you can be as involved as you want. Yeah, I, uh, I'm just, I don't know. I don't understand. Um, how this happened. <laughs> We, we used the condom. I know. I know, but, you know, condoms only work, like, 97% of the time. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, they should put that on the box! <laughs> they do! No, they don't! <laughs> Forget about the condoms. Oh, well, I may as well have. Listen, you know what? I was really freaked out, too, when freaked I found out. Hey, no, I'm not freaked out. <laughs> I'm indignant as a consumer. You know what? Let's, let's talk later. No, no, I want to talk now, okay? I, in fact, I want to talk to the president of the condom company. Okay, you know what, maybe I should come back. Okay. Yeah, I'll press one. Hey, I'm home. From the tequila factory? It was awful. To get out of going to dinner with Doug, I told him that you and I split up. So then he took me to all these strip clubs and sleazy bars. And then when I wouldn't give him my wedding ring, he threw a soda can at a bird. Come here. I can breathe through my mouth. <laughs> You know what the worst part was? I got to see what my life would be like without you. You know, it was like, uh, it's a wonderful life with lap dances. <laughs> Please promise me that you will never leave me, that we will grow old together and be with each other for the rest of our lives. I promise. Hey, speaking of together, how about we send out a holiday card this year? Ooh, I, I don't know if we're there yet. That's right. Still no baby. <laughs> Come on, people, please make some room. Uh, sweetie, maybe you'd be more comfortable here. <sighs> you. <laughs> like you haven't done enough. Look, I, I know how miserable you are. I wish there was something I can do. I mean, I, I wish I were a seahorse. <laughs> Because with seahorses, the, it's the male, they, they carry the babies. And then also, um, I'd be far away in the sea. <sighs> oh, I have never been so uncomfortable in my entire Life. Oh, I know. I've been there. I remember toward the end. Oh, oh baby, that's a great story. Could you tell it to me while you're getting me some iced tea? <laughs> oh. oh, God, get out! Get out, get out, get out! Let's. <laughs> Where'd she go? I know you. Do we have a name yet? No, not yet. That's fine. For now, we'll just call her Baby Girl Green. Oh, no. Baby Girl Killer Green. Excuse me, huh? I don't mean to be a jerk, but the baby with the rash came in after me. <laughs> Doctor will be right with you, sir. <laughs> Mommy, 
I can't find Waldo. What, the circus? He's behind the elephant. Wow. So your child's a big fan of the Waldo books, too. Yeah, that's, that's how I know. I'm Ross, by the way. Hi, I'm Sally. Hi. So, no ring. Can I assume you're also a single parent? I am a single parent. It's hard, isn't it? Uh, there's almost no time for a social life. I mean, where are you going to meet someone? Well, um, let's say, I don't know, you, you met someone in the pediatrician's office. Uh... Rossi, we're ready for you. <laughs> Um, yeah. Come on, Ross Jr. It's time to go in. Mommy. Mommy, what's wrong with that man? Hey, I helped you find Waldo. Oh, hey, Ross. Oh, I'm so glad someone's here. Could you zip me up? Don't... Sure. Thank you. Can you believe no one between my apartment and here offered to do that for me? People. So, uh, why are you so dressed up? Oh, um, Mike's picking me up for a date. Oh, yeah? Now, uh, how's that going? Uh, is it getting serious? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, I like him. But, you know, am I ready to take my grade-A loins off the meat market? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> You know, I, I really admire your, your whole dating attitude. It's so healthy. I'm always like, is this moving too fast? Is this moving too slow? Where, where is this going? Yeah, you know, you are a bit of a drama queen. <laughs> well, you know, you're so much better off, you know? You just go from guy to guy, having fun, and not worrying that it never turns into anything serious. I would say never. You know, there was that guy. Okay, well, what about... Okay, well, there's gotta be someone. There isn't, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my God, you're right. I know, and yet here you are, all ready for the next date. I can't believe I never realized this before. I'm in my 30s and I've never been in a long-term relationship? Oh my God, what's wrong with me? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm, there's, there's nothing wrong with you, I mean. I mean, you don't strike me as the type of person that wants to get married anyway. I want to get married. <laughs> uh, please, please don't cry because of me. I, James, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, I've been divorced three times. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you've been married. Oh, my God, I want to trade lives with Ross. <laughs> this is nice. I know. You need both hands for that? Yeah, I kind of do. Yeah. <laughs> well, how's this? Huh? <laughs> oh, look at you two holding hands. Uh, is this getting serious? I, I, you know. Have you not talked about it yet? <laughs> Am I making you uncomfortable? <laughs> if you were bigger, you'd hit me, huh? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. It's obviously way too early for us to be having that conversation. Is it? Maybe not, is it? Okay. When I got divorced, I, I didn't think I'd feel this way about someone for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Then again, I didn't think I'd meet someone like you. And this may be crazy soon, but... I want you to have this. No, not that's gum. Oh. Oh, five bucks. I love it when that happens. You know? It's like you don't know it's there. No, Mike, why don't you keep digging? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's a key. To be honest, I think I'd prefer the five dollars. It's to my apartment. Oh wow. Ooh. Ooh, big step for Phoebe and Mike. Yeah, look, and I don't want you to feel like you have to give me your key just because oh, no, I give I you my... no, I want to. Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I'm starting to 
starting to think I'd never meet someone that, you know, I wanted to do this with. <laughs> Here you go. This is cool, huh? It really is. Oh, I know it. It is amazing. These little things open doors. God, remember the girls' nights we used to have? <laughs> Sitting around talking about you and Ross? Oh, God, <laughs> it seems like forever ago. <laughs> I know. Oh. So what's going on with you and Ross? <laughs> well, um, I don't know. I mean, for a long time, nothing. You know, actually, right before you picked me up, Ross and I had a uh, little thing. Oh, my God, I love things. What happened? <laughs> well, um... First, he told me he liked how I looked, mm -hmm. and uh, then we had a little um, eye contact. <laughs> eye contact? Mm -hmm. I hope you were using protection. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, these are from the two gentlemen at the end of the bar. Should we send them something back? Oh, let's do. Oh, let's send them mashed potatoes. No, wait, no, no, don't do that. Gonna, that's going to make them think they can come over here. So what if they do? Well, we're not here to meet guys. You have a boyfriend. I have a baby and a Ross. <laughs> yeah, but um, nothing has to happen. We're just having fun. You know, not everything has to go as far as eye contact. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> What's wrong? I am so much older than these other interns. I can't, I can't compete with them. But I saw you were a little older. Try to look at the positive. You have all this life experience. Yes, but I don't think life experience is going to help me with these. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's like they're on fire! <laughs> They're these prototype sneakers, and I have to come up with ideas on how to sell them, which I can't do because no self-respecting adult would ever wear these. I'll give you $500 for them. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these? Right, come on, sneakers are easy. You wear sneakers all the time. Well, first of all, they're not called sneakers anymore. Apparently, they're called kicks or skids. And I think I heard somebody say slorps. <laughs> now, here, look. They got these wheels that pop out from the bottom so you can roll around because apparently walking is too much exercise. <laughs> kids, kids, roll your way to childhood obesity. <laughs> Would you help me try to sell these? Okay, have you considered using a girl with huge knockers? Uh, I don't think that's the kind of thing they're looking for. Hey, that'd work on me. <laughs> Why do you think I'd buy Mrs. Butterworth's? You know what, these aren't half bad. You should suggest something like these to Ralph Lauren. Okay, first of all, that's stupid. And second of all, I'm not allowed to talk to Ralph. <laughs> all right. I feel younger already. <laughs> yeah, I think I broke my hip. I just realized I don't care if he is the most perfect guy in the world. He's not you. Yeah, he's better. <laughs> no, he's not. And if I can't get pregnant with you, then I don't want to get pregnant by him or anyone else. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, thank God, because I don't want to do this either. You know, I was just doing it because I thought that was what you wanted to do. You know, I'm the husband. I'm supposed to bring the sperm. <laughs> that is so sweet. Well, I love you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this leaves us with... Adoption. How do you feel about that? I think I feel okay about it. Actually, I, I think I feel really good about it. Me too. I want to find a baby that needs a home, and I want to raise it with you. And I want to mess it up in her own specific way. <laughs> so, th this is it? We're... We're really going to adopt? Yeah. Oh, my God, we're going to be parents. We are going to be great parents. And it could be soon. I mean, I mean, think about it. Right now, somewhere out there, our baby could be being conceived. Wait, if we're lucky and we're really, really, really quiet, we may be able to hear the sound of a condom breaking. Hey, what are you going to 
do for us? Uh, I will be doing a dramatic reading of one of Emma's books. Oh, okay. Which one? Uh, well, it's uh, one of her favorites. <laughs> Riding the storm out, coping with postpartum depression. Yeesh. <laughs> <laughs> Love You Forever. Love You Forever by Robert Munch. Published by Firefly Books, printed in Mexico. <laughs> <clears throat> A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she held him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living. My baby, you'll be. And while he rocked her, he sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living. My baby, you'll be. Thank you so much for that gift. <laughs> I was not ready for this today. You can't move. You just, you just can't. Rachel's right. This is where you guys belong. Yeah, you, got, you don't want to live in Westchester. That's like the worst of the Chesters. <laughs> you know, sometimes when I'm alone in my apartment, I look over here, and you guys are just having dinner or watching TV or something, but... It makes me feel better. And now when I look over, well, who am I gonna see? The Gottliebs, the, the Yangs? They don't make me feel so good. Yeah, so, so don't move, okay? Just stay here and maybe close your blinds at night. Hey. <sighs> Hello? It's Nancy. They responded to our offer. And? Yeah. Okay, thanks. They passed. They said they wouldn't go a penny under the asking price. We can't afford that. I know. Well, there you go. I'm really sorry, you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, too. I'm even more sorry that that phone call didn't come before I told you about looking through the window. Yeah, well, we're gonna let you be alone. You gonna be okay? Yeah, we'll be okay. Love you guys. Come on. You know, I'm, I'm really sorry I wasn't more supportive before. Oh, that's okay, we understand. Yeah, and, and about this Nancy, if you're not sleeping with her, should I? I go to the other houses, but I just... Uh... I love that one so much. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing we got it then. What? We got the house. Oh, my God. I just didn't want to tell you in front of them. Oh, my God, we got it? We got the house? We're getting the house. Oh. Oh. We're getting the house. And a baby. We're growing up. <laughs> we sure are. So who's gonna tell them? Not it! Not it! Damn it! Hey, how'd the interview go? Oh, not good. You know, I always feel that way after an interview. I'll bet it went better than you think. Well, I didn't get the job at Gucci, and I got fired from Ralph Lauren. That is a bad interview. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? How'd this happen? Well, my boss was at the same restaurant where I was having my interview, and he heard everything. So later he calls me into his office and he tells me that he's gonna have to let me go because I'm not a team player. And I say, wait a minute, no, yes I am. And then I had to sit there for 45 minutes while he proved that that, in fact, was true. <laughs> oh God, I'm so sorry. Hey, what, what, what what's this? <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a bottle of champagne. Why is this here? Ross? I guess it's here because I got tenure! Oh, congratulations. congratulations! This is the single greatest day of my professional career. Gunther, six classes. Six? You want me to join? Oh, I thought Joey was here. Five is good. <laughs> 
I'm gonna have a loogie in my coffee tomorrow. Ooh, Israeli champagne. And it's vanilla. I got tenure. I didn't win the lottery. Hey, Rich, so uh, how did your thing go? Oh, it's good, yeah, but I'm not gonna hear about that for a couple of days. Oh, you know what? You're gonna get it. I, 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 I can feel it. Can ya? <laughs> well, everybody, here's to Ross. <laughs> and, and to years of hard work finally paying off. And to knowing that your career doesn't mean everything. But also knowing it means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> But more importantly, to full, well-rounded lives. That center around work. <laughs> Two rocks! <laughs> you know what the best part about this is? I can never be fired. Oh, God. No, seriously. I have job security for life. You know? I mean, I never have to worry. Oh, oh, look at you. Look how happy you are for me. <laughs> today, and I didn't get the other job. Rach, I'm so sorry. Oh. Great, I feel like an idiot. No, it's okay, you didn't know. Oh. Little heads up would have been nice. The street, the trees, and the big front yards, and the actual picket fences. Man, those two dogs are going at it. <laughs> Where you been? Oh, just, uh, you know, looking around. But you know what? This house is great. Really? What changed your mind? Oh, well, the little girl who lives here made me feel a lot better about the whole thing. Joey, there was a little girl who lived here, but she died like 30 years ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> That's not funny. You know I'm afraid of little girl ghosts. Joey, now that you're okay with the house, do you want to go see your room? What? I get my own room? You don't think we'd buy a house and not have a Joey room, do you? Oh, my God. Hey. Oh. Oh. Hey, can I have an aquarium and a sex swing? <laughs> no. Why not? I'll keep the tank clean. Oh, honey. Let me just say something, because once we get into this, I'm going to get all uncomfortable and probably make some stupid joke. I just want to say that I, I love you. And I'm going to miss you. And I'm so sad that you're leaving. Oh, you know what? Let's not say anything else. I love you. <laughs> mm, not so tight. Oh.